we had a little bit of rain. So if you'll remember back in November of uh, 2019, I put this Newport 62 pound 12 volt uh, trolling motor on and I did an initial review of the quality and well, at least what I consider to be initial quality. And I even did a little bit of a performance test. I tested how much thrust I got out of it. But it's been almost three years and this motor has been right here in the sun, in the rain, in the cold, it's Florida, so not that cold, for that entire time. On top of that, it has about 380 hours of actual running time. And for the last two or three months, it started to act up a little bit. It would only run in high, so it would go full speed forward and full speed in reverse, which makes it kind of difficult to fish with. Right now, it's running in low, but it's been a little bit sporadic. And you might notice the difference in the boat from the old footage. Now, this is the same boat, and I added probably 250 pounds in the refit and if you haven't seen that build I'll put the playlist in the description. But right now I've got low speed and medium speed in reverse and I don't know if you can see it but you see the little arrow it's pointing at one and I can't get it to zero so this thing has slipped 180 degrees. Inside. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this thing off the boat take it to the shop pull it apart and I'll talk to you a little bit about the customer service I got from Newport. So let's go ahead and pull this thing apart and see what we got inside. But before we do, let me tell you a little bit about my experience with uh, Newport Vessel customer support. First of all, I'm not sponsored by anybody, not by Newport, by, by no one. This is not one of those YouTube channels where you get free stuff in the mail all the time. I wish. So when I started having issues with the motor, I got online and I tried to find a source for part and information. Now I did find a little bit of information online, some questions, some troubleshooting guidelines, but none of them really fit what I had. So I emailed customer support and I, to my surprise, they it got back to me immediately. They diagnosed the problem for me and suggested the replacement part and sent me a link to where I could find it. Just a little bit of history with me on this lake and trolling motors. I've had two Minn Kotas and two motor guides on that same boat. And they all last a couple of years, maybe three max, and then I start replacing parts. And it's always been very expensive. Speed control cards for those other ones were like up somewhere around a hundred bucks. And then replacing the motor brushes was like 50 or 60 dollars not to mention all the time i put into it and that always only prolonged the life of the motor for maybe another six months so i was happy to see that the replacement part on this thing was just around 30 dollars including shipping let's go ahead and tear into this all right check it out it's pretty clean in there all right, so let me show you the replacement part they sent me. It's the speed controller, and it's easily identifiable right here in the motor. They also sent a really nice instructional card. It's laminated, it's in color, it's step-by-step. -step. That's pretty nice. They suggest you take a picture of the assembled motor head so you can reassemble the way it was, and I always do that. So let's do that. Now I'm just gonna disconnect the spade connectors. All right, so now it's just a matter of pulling these wires off, reassembling it, and we'll take it down to the water. And I won't bore you with this stuff. All right, I'm just checking my wiring to make sure I got it right, and I see a mistake. The white should be up front, and the yellow should be in the back. All right, I'm glad I checked. All right, that was an easy fix. Let's go ahead and put this thing together. All right, let's put this thing on. All right, guys, I got full blast in reverse and full blast forward. So I guess I spent the $30 and didn't get the repair I was hoping for. So I'll have to go back to customer service and see if they offer anything else. Damn it, man, you kidding me. All right, so before I went wild and crazy calling these people up and asking for more information, I figured I'd double check my wiring and I checked it with the schematic on here and the photographs in my phone and I've got it right. But I also noticed on the old one, if you look right there, 
it melted. It sort of got real hot on the inside and melted this stuff out. And so if it was hot enough to do that, it may have damaged some of the wires going down to the motor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the motor apart and see if I can find a flaw. If I have to run a new wire from here to there, maybe that'll fix the problem. Otherwise, there might be another controller component at the motor. We'll see. This is exactly the experience I had with both my Minn Kota motors and my motor guide motors. They all started to go and when I pulled the motor apart, they had water in them. Alright, so here's the commutator brush assembly. Okay, so here we, we reached essentially a dead end in this situation. If you look back there, you'll see there's a casing, there's like a resin casing back there. That's actually housing the speed controller. So for me to repair this, I'd have to have this whole unit right here, this tail end, all the way up with all the wires. And that would probably be so expensive that it probably would be worth it. But I will contact the folks at Newport and see what they say. Okay. Right, so I finally got a reply from customer service with Newport Vessel and they're in agreement with me. This thing is kaput. They said they would replace it completely if it were under warranty. It's a two-year warranty and it's been more than two years, that's for sure. So overall, I would give this thing a, a B on some theoretical scale where an A would be a motor that wouldn't get water in it. I can understand electrical parts going bad. They're easy enough to replace and they're typically not super expensive. But the deadly flaw in every motor I've had is the motor shaft seal right here behind the propeller. Typically the O-rings don't leak, especially if they have good O-rings like this one. This one had silicone O-rings and you don't find that in most so, of them. So yeah, I'm still considering buying another one of these, mostly because of the price point. This thing is 62 pound thrust. So a Minn Kota or a motor guide at 55 pounds runs about $460, $470. And this thing runs right at 300 bucks. So as I'm speaking to you, I'm kind of debating what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna spend 500 bucks, but I don't want a motor that's just gonna crap out on me quickly. I'm not sure, but I am considering buying another one. And when I do, I'll go ahead and do an unboxing for it. Thank you for watching the video. If you like these kind of product reviews and re-reviews, let me know. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time.